Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the video. My name is Bradley, also known as The Swim Coach. Today we're going to be looking at game week 19 of the Fantasy Football League. Um, so, I did start off by um, doing, on this week, two extra subs. I lost four points. Um, but we ended up with 51 points overall. Um, above the average, which is always what I like to try and do. Um, so let's go through all the points. So, two points for Edison. Um, just the two points for playing 90 minutes uh, because they did concede. So that, that's one problem, being the goalkeeper. Uh, Trippier. Um, yeah, they conceded three, three goals. So... One minus one point, so I only got one point on the board. Um, Trent Alexander uh, got a clean sheet, got a yellow card, um, so that's a bit of a shame. Got three bonus points, so nice. Ended up with eight points there. Um, they're the things we like, and we've got to make sure that we keep doing that. Now, Saliba, um, bit of disappointment for Arsenal, and as an Arsenal fan, I'm very upset with this one. Um, so, conceding two goals, minus one point on that. Two points for the 90 minutes, so one point overall. Declan Rice, mm, didn't do well, did he, against his old club. Uh, so just the two points for playing 90 minutes, and the same for Saka. Um, Chan gave me 14 points, scoring two goals. Bonus points, but only played 45 minutes. So, that was quite nice. Um, and then, uh, Mo Salah got a clean sheet and two points. But Liverpool did win, but he won on the, on the scores or even assist. So There's a bit of a shame there. Uh, Ollie Watkins um, played 90 minutes. Yeah, it was a bit of a... Should we say, out of two halves, there we go. Um, so, yeah, that was all I can say about that game. Where's, scored the goal, gave me four points. I love that, but it was the only goal that he actually, the only goal that Brentford scored. Um, Solanke, doing me well, give me four points. Um, that gave me uh, six points in total, so it was quite nice. Um, Salah was our captain. So he did just multiply. He's a shame I didn't have Chan. A uh, bit of disappointment there. Uh, the bench. Only um, Wall Prowse did us um, extra there. So if we put Wall Prowse in for any of these three players, um, we would gain four points. So not much difference. Um, here are the results. Um, I'm not going to go. Big details into them, but as you can see, these are the results. Some big shockers, especially on the Thursday night games. Um, even with Everton at one point, they were winning. So again, another shocks at those points. But we now go in to game week number twenty. Um. Few few little changes. So here there's three four three and this time I've gone with a three five two. Okay. So Wes has come out and Wall Prowse has gone off on um in. Um so we'll see how that one goes. Um yeah, that's the only change I've got. Um, now, do I go with with um, Salah as my skipper, or do I go with Watkins? And I'm actually going to go with Ollie Watkins. Um, it's a big game. Um, the um, that's coming up, and I'll. Talk to you all about it in a minute. Um, I was thinking about doing my 
bonus, uh, my boost bet, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to wait until there's a double week, okay? Because there will always be some double games coming up. So we can look into that. And also with certain players going off to the African Cup of Nations and going off to the Asia Cup, we're going to have to look into the, these players as well. Uh, the fixtures for this week. Uh, 12.30 kickoff. Um, we have Luton versus Chelsea. It's going to be an interesting one going to Kenilworth Road, okay, for Chelsea. I'm going to say it's going to be a tricky one, but hey, I think any team going to Luton is going to find it hard. Uh, Villa against Burnley. So high flying Villa against low form Burnley. So again, we'll see that one. A uh, London derby here between um, Crystal Palace and Brentford. Um, both teams are up on the down at the moment, I believe. Um, City against Sheffield United now. There is no Haaland, okay? Um, he's out and expected to be back, I think, if I remember rightly. We'll just check on this. Let's just check stats. Uh, as you can see, Haaland will not be back until the second week of January. So he'll probably miss this week. And yes, there's a big, big people that have taken players out. It's going to be an interesting one. See, I could take Trippier out as well because of Salah. But I'm going to keep it. Um, then we've got Wolves Everton. Could be a big game. Um, I think this is going to be like a goal first. I'm going to say two all. Uh, Forest. Against Manchester United. Now, Forest, I think, can do well. If you look previously, they beat Newcastle at Newcastle. So, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, especially against Manchester United, who did fight back and come back, but they should have lost that game to Villa. Um, and then we go on to the Sunday fixtures of of new year's eve um so we've got fulham okay against arsenal another london derby that's a good one at two o'clock kickoff then we have uh spurs against bournemouth please please spurs and Dom and solanke score a few goals there then on new year's day we have liverpool versus newcastle that's always a big game, okay? So it'd be interesting to see this one. Then we have West Ham on the second against uh, Brighton. Um, again, two clubs that are high and fighting. So it'd be interesting to see how those teams get on. Um, so this is my team this weekend um we'll see how it goes actually i need to just change that so i want him as my vice skipper just in case something happens to Har um salah so we'll see but other than that have a lovely time and have a lovely new year's because the next time i see you will be next year so have a lovely time and enjoy yourselves goodbye from now